Now to a string of crimes near the Eastern Michigan University campus that have neighbors in downtown Ypsilanti wondering how best to protect themselves and their belongings. Right. The sheer number of incidents in this just the past few weeks is staggering. Take a look here. These red dots represent home invasions and robberies at businesses over a 20 day period. Coco McAvoy spoke with neighbors who are well aware of what's going on and hoping they're not next. Coco. Residents in downtown Ypsilanti are catching wind of the home invasions and robberies that have been happening over the past couple of weeks. And we're not talking about a few. We're talking about several incidents. The downtown Ypsilanti community is filled with friendly and diverse residents. Being in this neighborhood is like really, really nice. It just adds a shade of ickiness to it. The ickiness Wesley Schacht is talking about is the crime. A friend of mine had their home broken into. According to the crime mapping website, there have been almost 30 reported break-ins and robberies in the past month. We're told the crime mapping statistics come directly from the police department. That's really shocking to me. Unfortunately, it isn't as shocking to Makeland Sargent. There was a girl who lived in my building. She had stuff taken right out of her cars. Sargent was a victim of a robbery herself. I had my bike stolen a couple months ago. She's so fed up with it, she's moving. I understand, you know, that these are material objects that in the end it doesn't affect me and I could have, you know, so much worse going on with my life, but on it. I'd like to be able to not have to think about my material possessions disappearing into the hands of someone else. They're hoping the thief or thieves cut it out. People already have enough to worry about than having to worry about some jerk breaking into their house and uh, taking, taking the stuff that they worked really hard for. Stop it! <laughs> And we've been reaching out to the Ypsilanti Police Department for the past two days to find out how they've been handling this uptick in crime. They have not responded. We'll let you know if and when they do. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.